what is up? Con 3R99 right here with uh, with the Call of Duty Zombies tier list. Uh, a little different than what I do on this channel, but this game is my life, and uh, I would go to hell if I didn't do this. So uh, let's just let's just get into it. You know, um, I have a little category here um, called "Haven't Played Enough." Because I've played all these maps, it's just there's some that I'm not qualified to rank. I feel like I've only played like one or two times, you know. Um, but let's let's get going. Let's. Oh my God. Oh oh. Yeah. Okay. First off, Exodus, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. I not qualified to rank this map. Great start. Um. Yeah. Next up, Kino. Nostalgia is a very powerful drug, you know? But, um... I think I'd put in Great Map. I feel like if you take a step back and you look at Kino for what it really is, it's it doesn't have a whole lot, you know? You got just pack a punch. But it's got a very good training area. Uh, a great song, and it's just so iconic that you just... It just belongs there, you know? Um, Revelations. People sleep on Revelations, but Revelations, I I love it. Um, it needs to go into great, um, great map. It. A lot of people get mad at it because it's like the recycling bin of Call of Duty Zombies, but like that's what makes it cool. And I get it. It's too easy sometimes and stuff like that. And they, the boss fight is so anticlimactic, but it's it's just fun. It's just good time. Uh, Descent, absolute garbage, disgusting, I hate Descent so much, so much, I, I'm not, I don't even want to go into detail, I, it's Descent, it, it's, no, Ascension, I'd say Ascension, it would go in decent, but those, those monkeys, steal my perks all the time and especially if you're playing on solo it is so annoying to just start fucking running around the map just so you can find some monkey that's trying to drink your jug away or whatever the hell they do it's it's annoying i, I like the easter egg like it being the first easter egg that that was great i think it's fun thunder gun's fun on the map yeah darkest shore i've played like once or twice not qualified, and it's the darkest shore. It wasn't gonna go very high anyway. Final Reich can go, and go in decent. It's fun. It's the one good thing I think about World War Two, especially the zombies. The campaign is good in World War Two, but this is about the zombies. The wonder weapon is fun. Easter egg is fun. Boss fight is fun. There's not a whole lot wrong with this map. It's just it's World War Two. You know, that's just what brings it down. Uh, Origins is a god tier map it's origins i mean you know introduce premise you got the staffs you've got crazy easter egg crazy ending at the time we had no clue what was going on and it was just so cool completely new story that was just rammed in and it was it was great it was great zombies in spaceland the only iw map that is really good and i think it I'd maybe put it in God. I mean, you got David Hasselhoff as your DJ. You got Elemental Wonder Weapons, pretty much. You've got... It's the 80s, you know? It's, it's cool, it's fun. You got 80s music playing. You got fun boss fight with the aliens. It's just it's just great. It's it's fun. Beast from Beyond goes straight to garbage. I hate Beast from Beyond. hate the Easter egg. It's so tedious, so annoying. I just can't. I can't. I, I, I've never even beaten that Easter egg. I can't. I'm not. Shadow Throne played that once or twice. I'm not qualified for that one. Busty Poe deserves garbage. It's just like I, I get it. it. It's it's like a bonus map, you know. They brought it, they they made transit and they're like, you know what? Let's just take all these little parts out of transit and just throw them up there. Like it, it it's fine, but like it just doesn't. It's nothing, you know. It's like a little bug under my shoe, you know. I just go crush it. Die Rise is top of garbage. I will, I will order these when I get done with this, but 
Um, die Rise is terrible. I, I, you die to fall damage more than you die to zombies. Slick of Fire is cool, but I've killed myself with the Slick of Fire. I've, I've gone flying off the map. So, Mauder Toten. <sighs> Mauder Toten can go in good. It's a good map. It's fun. Good wonder weapon. Good boss fight. Fun Easter egg. Get the get the silver protect silver protector or the atom unit back as Klaus. That's fun. Awakening. I haven't played enough to say. Nocturne Toten. Oh boy. Nocturne Toten is not an easy one to rank because it's Nocturne Toten. It's the it's the original. You know. I I just put it directly in the middle as a decent map. Is that what would that be? I'd say yeah. You really can't rank Nocturne and Toten. I mean, it's you're just stuck in a room. You know, you got a little bunker. The flamethrower is cool. I wish they used the flamethrower in more World at War maps and like just further on. It's so cool and knocked. The ray gun's good then, but it's knocked. You know, it, it doesn't have anything, and it's World at War knocked, so it doesn't even have perks. You know, it's just you got nothing. You got nothing. Um, Moon. A lot of people don't like Moon very much, but I think it's absolutely great. Amazing. It's fun. I, I, the jug speed call thing can be a little annoying. The hacker's fun. Give you a bunch of new stuff to do. The QEDs are just random things. They're fun. Gersh device on the map. Wonder Weapon is great. Absolutely great. And the Easter egg. Oh my god, the Easter egg is like the biggest thing that we had in Black Ops 1. It was just crazy. And, and what it means for everything, it's 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 awesome. Bl I mean, blowing up the entire Earth, Rick Dolphin becoming evil. Like, he was evil, but became God. Swap bodies with the child. Um, Voyage of Despair, I want to just, like, tie it to a tree and just, like, stab it multiple times. And, and like, say, why? Why are you here? Because it's just dumb. The layout is terrible. Could have been something so much cooler with the Titanic theme. Wonder Weapon is kind of cool. The Easter egg is a pain in the ass, but it's got a cool boss fight. I'd maybe move it up to Met because of that. But it's Voyage, you know, just. It hurts. It hurts to even look at. Outbreak deserves Met. Outbreak would have been cool, okay? If they just, like, dropped Outbreak. And kept working on their maps for Cold War, you know? Like, the Easter Egg... First Easter Egg is great. Um, f like, actually a hard boss fight. Something actually hard in Cold War for once. And they... It was great. Then, we went, like, three seasons without, like, anything. Except for Outbreak maps and Outbreak stuff. Like, I, I get it. Outbreak. But, like, stop. No more Outbreak. They ex even did a second Easter Egg. I, I get it. It was for the story, but... It's just annoying. Grossen House can go in garbage. It's like, it's just knocked, but World War Two, and why would you need to do that? You know, I'm, I'm, I guess you want a little, little fun map. Maybe I'll move, move it to Med because of that. It's a little, like a little knocked World War Two, but it's World War Two. Why would you, like, jump off a bridge? And, okay, uh, Dead of the Night. I'd say Dead of the Night is just okay. When I order this, it's probably going to be the bottom of okay. Or top of meh, I don't know yet. I'm, I might change that. But Dead of the Night, it's got a cool Wonder Weapon. I love the Wonder Weapon. Hate the characters. Don't like the map. Well, I guess the mansion is kind of cool, but it's just kind of annoying sometimes. It's big, so many doors. The Easter Egg is... Oh, I hate the Easter Egg so much. It's just so annoying. It... To the puzzles and stuff, it can be so annoying sometimes. But Wonder Weapon's cool. I, I'm Wonder Weapon's the only thing going for it. It's going down in there. Yeah. Dryzen Drock deserves to go at the top of God, of everything. Dryzen Drock is 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 our God. It's it's. I'm I'm trying not to bring a lot of bias into this, but it's like it's my favorite map. It's it just feels, it's just great. The bows. It's Black Ops 3's origins, basically. Like, if you were to, you know, with the elemental bows, you know. It's just, it's a great map. Cool, 
cool castle, great Easter egg. The first actual ever boss fight in Call of Duty Zombies? I mean, come on. It's Dries and Dragon, you know? Darice? I put Darice in decent. It's better than Noct, of course. Oh, maybe I put... No, I put Darice in good. I put Darice in good. Darice... World at War Darice was the first map to bring in Pack a Punch. It's kind of like Noct. You can't blame it for, like, most things. But, like, it, it made the game start to evolve and change, you know? Other than perks and the other maps. But, like... This, this is what changed everything and went further from there. Nine. I'd say nine is a, a great or good. Nine's a great map. Nine is a great map. It's it, it's like, it feels like classic zombies again, which is a wonder weapon. And like, it's just a smaller layout, you know? Great Easter egg, but like you don't even have to do the Easter egg. The Easter egg can be a bit much sometimes, but like if you don't want to do the Easter egg, you just get like a, like a kind of basic, kind of classic zombies feel, and that's something rare in Black Ops Four. The only Black Ops Four map that deserves that. Shallon Shuffle. I don't like Shallon Shuffle. I don't know if anyone likes Shallon Shuffle. It's at least better than Beast, but it's I hate the roller skating little woman. They're just annoying. It, the map is just... I, n I don't like it. I don't like the setting. I just... I don't like it. Farm... It's better than Bus Depot for sure. I'd, I'd put Farm in meh. It's, it's like Bus Depot, but it's got an extra building, I guess? I don't know. It's... It's just Farm. Like, green Run maps. Why, why did you need to... Like, I understand town, it's a big area, but, like, these two do not need to be here. Like, just, just keep them in your vault or whatever. Like, yes, yeah. Mayday I also haven't played enough. Maybe, like, one time, actually. I don't know. Um, Zetsubo is a great map. Zetsubo was slept on when it first came out. And it's, it's just good. It's one of the core Black Ops 3 maps, and I think every Black Ops 3 map is just amazing what they did. Jason Blundell is a god. Frozen Dawn, I haven't played enough as well. Town. Town is the only bare bones map I'd maybe put in great. Like, and that's a, that's a high rating for just, it's just town, you know? But it's just fun. It's like fun classic zombies. It doesn't feel like a World at War map where it's like, deprives you of stuff and you're like claustrophobic, but like, it's, it's just fun. You got a big area you can train around and you got pack punch, you got perks. It's just fun. It, it's just fun. Outbreak, I hate so much. Just for so many reasons, and I don't... It, it's just... It, Advanced Warfare, of course, drags it down. But Outbreak, I hate the layout. I hate the... I just... I don't know. Some of the Advanced Warfare maps just rub me the wrong way, and it, I do not like them. <sighs> Tortured Path, I also haven't played enough. Carrier, I will put in okay. Carrier is the only advanced war warfare map I like. I don't know if people share that opinion, but I, I just kind of like it. I like the little Plinko machine in there. It's kind of fun. The grenades. I like the Wonder Weapon. I mean, I guess it, it, it's whatever. It's Carrier. It's it's all right. It's advanced warfare, so it can't be too high. But you know, oh five five. Okay, I'm gonna put five. In decent. Five is so hard. Five is arguably one of the hardest maps of all time. It, it's you have one of the worst wonder weapons ever to exist. It's just so weak, and you can't get past like round thirty with it. Even it, it just, you just can't. Um, when you're teleporting, it literally teleports you to a random place, which can also screw you over so hard. Also, the Pentagon Thief can either be very annoying or very fun to just chase around or get chased by, you know? Also, it has JFK and those guys, so... Of course, it... it, it maybe it'll go at the top of decent, bottom of good map, kind of around that range. It's... 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 it's just... it's held back by... especially Black Ops 1 just makes everything harder because it's too hit down. 
and it's it's five. It's it, the layout. There's no good place to train. It's it's just hard. It's a hard map, and it can be a pain. Check the radioactive thing. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. I think it's all right. I'd put it in okay. I'd put it in okay. I get why people don't like it. The Easter egg is awful, but I just like the boss fight at the end. I like the theme. It's a it's fun. It's it's kind of fun. It can be annoying, but I, I get it. Shadows of Evil, immediate god tier. I mean, it's Shadows of Evil. Everyone hated this map when it came out. Because it was ahead of its time. And then we got Dorizon Dragon and and everyone loved those. And then people took a look back at Shadows, they're like, oh my god, this map. It's amazing. I mean, the Wonder Weapon, the music, the, the, the Easter egg isn't even that hard, too. The, worst, the hardest part of the Easter egg is getting four people to finish it. But even then, you can, do, you can at least do it, some of it solo. Which, like... That'd be nice if they did that for like Black, Black Ops 4 four player ones. That'd be cool. But Shadows of the Old deserves S. It's just the setting. It's it's just amazing. It's a great map. God map. D Machine. D Machine can go in decent. It's it, it, in a weird way. If you think about it, it's like Cold War's version of Origins. It's got four elemental things. But it doesn't even matter because everyone's got to get the D machine. That, no, the die shockwave, and, and they just can't <laughs> because you got to keep spinning the box. Or one person gets from the side Easter egg, maybe one person gets from another side Easter egg. But it's just it can be annoying sometimes, and it doesn't even feel like it's the the upgrades having any importance. But it, it's it's a good starting map for for Cold War, it, and it's fun. And you don't even need the wonder weapon to like for it to make a th thing, so that's why I kind of feel like it was wasted, where they could have used the elemental upgrades a lot more and could have been a lot cooler, but D-Machine's decent. Firebase C, it's meh. It's meh. Not as meh as uh, Outbreak, probably, but it's just, it's got a boring boss fight. It's got a boring Easter egg. Easter egg's awful. You've got Peck when he's back. He's he's annoying. He's just kind of annoying, you know. And at least in in Mauer, he's kind of he's kind of cool, you know. He's fun. Same with Forsaken, but like, I don't like him in this. So Firebase is just I don't know the layout and everything. It, it just it just doesn't feel right. It's weird. It's it's not a great map. Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega can go one of two ways. It's either a great map when you're playing with friends. No. Yeah, it's either a great map when you're playing with friends. Or it's a good map. Or maybe even a decent map. Or a meh map when you're playing on solo. Because it's just... It is... It, it's... It, the codes and everything is just annoying. It's just annoying. Especially the Easter egg. and I mean, the Easter egg's cool. Kind of annoying parts of the Easter egg. Sometimes I like Primus and Ultimus coming together. I thought that was great, uh, but I don't know. It just—it felt like it should have been this amazing big thing, but it's Black Ops Four, and it just doesn't feel like it delivered, which is a lot of Black Ops Four. So I'm gonna maybe put it in good. Yeah, like it felt like it could have been crazy. It's got uh, Elemental Rigamar Twos, and it just—I don't know—it feels weird. It feels like it should be a lot better. Nightfall haven't also played enough. Mob of the Dead, S. God. God S. God. Gods. Goddesses. Mob of the Dead is so amazing. Atmosphere. You're an Alcatraz. You get to go into afterlife mode and open up the map. I mean, that's so cool. And especially if you get like an extra chance when you go down and you just run around in afterlife mode. It's so cool. Great Easter egg. You literally fight your friends in the Easter egg. It is two player, which is kind of annoying, especially for playing solo a lot of my life. But the Easter egg, it's just fun too. It's just really fun to finish off this Easter egg and fight your friends on the bridge. It's just a great map. It's it's God. It it's amazing. Blood of the Dead. <sighs> Blood of the Dead begun, begins in garbage. It needs to it needs to be here. I'm sorry. It, if Mob of the Dead wasn't a thing, 
it would be so much better, but it just took Mob of the Dead and just took a vacuum and just <laughs> all the good things in Mob of the Dead and just took it all out. I mean, you got our guys, but like, it, it was cool for the story, for, for what it set up. And that story wasn't even good in Black Ops 4 that much, but like, I don't know, the map felt wasted. It was just also not needed, I feel like. I mean, it's cool to show the story of what happens after Zetsubo, and then they break the time loop and stuff like that in there. It's kind of cool. Shinonuma, immediate garbage. Ugh. Tied with Frog for the worst World at War map. I mean, so many things are wrong with this map. You can't be mad at it too much, because it's a World at War map. You know, World at War maps, not developed, not good. No pack-a-punch. The perks are annoying. They're so spread out. I get that's how it was at the beginning, but it's just annoying to get them sometimes. And they're all randomized. And 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 some I think in World at War you couldn't even get a certain perk. Yeah, and this is the World at War version. So the World at War version at least is great for high rounds, but just it's good to train in like one spot. Other than that, it just sucks. It, the mud, water, it's terrible. The Wonder Waff feels weird on the map. Like, if they were to put something else, but they didn't have anything else at the time. It's the only Wonder Weapon that can really save you past a certain round because there's no pack punch, you know? But, I mean, it's really War. I guess it's kind of built for that, but still. Transit garbage. It's... <sighs> Transit had potential to be one of the greatest maps of all time, but it was on the Xbox 360, and it's just terrible. I feel like Transit needs its own tier, because Transit, if you're playing with a group of four friends, it can get, it can get kind of fun. It's just chaos, and sometimes chaos is fun, and sometimes creating chaos is fun. Yeah, so, but it's Transit, and it's just, it, Transit rant incoming. You start off in transit, you you get the bus, you know? You're like, oh cool, reliable bus that keeps us going from place to place. Great way to fast travel. No, the bus leaves you. He does not care about you. He will leave you. Also, not to mention, the way that power and turbines work in this map is so infuriating. Pack-a-punch, you, you can barely even get on solo. It's so, you gotta be so careful and so fast on solo to get pack-a-punch, which is just something that you, you shouldn't have to do, like the dumb turbine thing for pack-a-punch. It's ridiculous. Also, maybe, hey, okay, maybe I can't do pack punch. Let me get the wonder weapon. The wonder weapon is one of the worst things you've ever seen. It pulls the zombies to you and breaks, and you gotta build it all again. There's like seven, eight parts. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't wanna build it ever again. Build it like once. It's transit. The lava and everything, the fog, the denizens, it's just, it's. If it was just a clear, normal map, it would have been great, but it got transited. The giant, I feel like, belongs in the same place as Darius. It, 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 it's like we either have Ultimus or Primus, and yeah, I guess this one maybe has a side Easter egg, so maybe a little bit better. Um, well, not a side Easter egg, an actual Easter egg, but it's like a side Easter egg. It's not a whole lot different, except for like it gives you an extra perk, and you, you're, it's on Black Ops 3's engine, so it automatically makes it better. But, you know, it, it's not crazy different. It's, it's, I'd say it's a little bit better than Darius. But Darius is classic. It can be fun, you know. Buried. I love Buried. I used to play Buried all the time with my friends. I, I really want to put it in God. But I get it. It, it shouldn't be in God. It, it's, it's a more simple... I want, well, not simple, it's just, it's buried, you know, it's, I feel like it's the one map that Zelensky nailed in Black Ops 2, you know, he, like, the other one's not so good, Transit, Die Rise, <laughs> Mob of the Dead was Jason Blundell coming in, too, and Mob of the Dead and Buried are great, Buried is really good, really great, it, you, you could literally just camp forever and just use the subsurface resonator and the turbine and just full trade great perk witch's house was awesome to get to pack punch even though the strippers steal your money um but it's it's just it's a great map it's so much fun leroy's great too tagged her totem i put in okay 
I maybe decent. I never liked Call of the Dead. A lot of people like Call of the Dead or don't like Call of the Dead. I don't know. The problem with Call of the Dead is I, I hate getting screwed over by the ice lake and George Romero is just so annoying in it. Like, I love George Romero in real life. Loved. But in the game, it's like you just want to hang him. It's, it's awful. He's so annoying. It is cool to kill him and get, like, the Wonder off for like 90 seconds and, and stuff like that and I guess yeah but this is not about Call of the Dead let me, let me I'm gonna write Call of the Dead right now hold on meh that's okay that's 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 meh no I'll put it in okay you know what I'll, I'll bump it up it okay it just doesn't fit in with these down here in meh it's Call of the Dead it's a Black Ops 1 map it's got all the actors the actors are cool Tiger Totem is above it because it's got a little bit more, it's got actually good wonder weapons this time. Call of the Dead's wonder weapons are awful. And it, it ends the story of, of Aether, which is a sad, I, it's just a weird ending. Weird what they did. I mean, Black Ops 4 got cut for a lot of stuff, but it's, it's okay. It's decent. It's decent. Ancient Evil is so good. Ancient Evil is a great map. Ancient Evil, I would almost put it up in God. It's Black Ops 4's Origins, and they deliver. It's it's so much fun. The mythology stuff, the four elemental gauntlets, the Easter egg is so much fun. The boss fight, oh my God, the boss fight is one of my favorite boss boss fights. It's it's amazing. Fighting Pegasus and Perseus, it's it's so cool. Oh my God, it, I really want to put it up in God, but. It's not it's not good enough to be with these guys, you know. Point of contact also haven't played enough. Literally one time. Raven the Redwoods, I really like actually. A lot of it's 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 a hard map. It's a much harder map, but I put it in decent. I love slasher movies and stuff like that, and I love how it, it goes into that. And like the big boss zombies, like kinda like Jason Friday the thirteenth. It's cool. It's just a cool map. It's it's an interesting map. It can be kinda hard, I get it. But I like it. Classified, I'd maybe put it above five. It, it took five and just improved five. Put in the ultimate screw. You can actually choose where you're teleporting. The Winter's Hell didn't get buffed for some reason. I don't, I don't, but it, it's cool. It's got a cutscene, ending cutscene, I mean, and an intro. It, it's got a stupid way to get the ending cutscene but you know it's 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 good Garad Krovi is a great map absolutely great I hate the easter egg well I like the boss fight hate the easter egg though some of the steps in there just make me want to snap a dragon's neck and like climb inside it and control it and tell its other friends hey I'm your dragon friend and then I want to kill the other dragon friends and then I'm going to bomb Stalingrad um, that's Grad Crowby's Easter egg steps. That's what it does to me. Shangri-La is very hard. Very hard map. I, it, it used to be my favorite Black Ops 1 map until Moon came along. But, it's got a cool Easter egg. I like the Brock and Gary kind of lore. But, as much as I really want it to be up and good... It should be down and decent here with five. It, you know, no, no, it, it's gonna go in at least bottom of good when I'm when I'm done with this. It, I like the wonder weapon. The wonder weapon sucks, and it because you'll run into the zombies to tackle them when they're babies, but then you get smacked by the zombies when they turn back. It it it, it sucks, but it's a fun wonder weapon and it's, it's just a cool looking map, and I like the Easter egg. But it's just, oh, it can really suck sometimes. Infection. <laughs> I mean, it's Burger Town. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what rank it. I, I'd say it's maybe meh. It's Infection. It's Advanced Warfare. Pulls it down. <sighs> it, it, it's also just so annoying with all the, like, inf the special types of zombies and stuff like that. It's, it's annoying. It's very annoying to play. Um, 
for rocks, I'd put in garbage. I mean, I feel like these maps should get, World at War maps should get the benefit of the doubt because they got nothing, but like, with everything that we have now, it's it's not good. It's, it's just, it, the layout of the map is bad. They got one good camping spot, nowhere to train. The Wonder Wolf came in here, so I guess I guess that's something cool. But, I don't know, it's Vrucked, it's very bare. And it's World at War Vrucked too, which is even harder to play. So, Forsaken, I feel like should also go in meta with the other these three Cold Wars, Cold War maps. Forsaken could have been so cool. I was so hyped for Forsaken because finally, after like twelve years of waiting through Outbreak it, it, side maps, we get an actual map. Actually, no, it's after Mauer, but still, <laughs> we get we get more Outbreak stuff after Mauer. And then we finally get Forsaken, and it's supposed to be the ending of, of Cold War, you know, not the whole entire story yet, but, like, because we got another game, but it's just so anticlimactic, I feel like, and I feel like that's a lot of people's problems with Rev, but, like, this thing, the map layout is kind of annoying sometimes, can't even stay in the pack punch room, I get it's kind of like a cool thing, but no, the Easter egg sucks, absolutely sucks, it takes two seconds to do. And it, you literally get three parts, and you're done. It's just, it's, oh, it, it's disappointing. I like the Wonder Weapon, but it's very disappointing. Duran Fang straight to garbage. <laughs> Nuketown Zombies. Oh boy, do I like and hate Nuketown Zombies. Nuketown Zombies is the type of guy to go, hey, Come on, roller coaster with me. It'll be fun. And then you have to wait like 20 minutes in line for the roller coaster to actually start. Um, and that's meaning perks. And because of that, I'm going to put it in okay. It, you can either have a really good game on Nuketown Zombies or the worst game. You can get Jug and Pack Punch on like round 5 and 10 or round 50 and 200. Not really, but like... It's just, it takes forever to get the perks and rent it out. The way that they did that system could have just been fixed by just putting them there originally. It would have been so much better. But, I mean, it's Nuketown. It's kind of cool setting, but just screwed me over. Terra Maledicta is straight to garbage ball. At least it had an Easter egg. <laughs> but it's just Darren Fang copy and paste with a small little Easter egg. And Shinonuma Reborn isn't here from... Vanguard, but I'd maybe put that in meh. Like, definitely, it's better than original Shinonuma. It's got an Easter egg. It's got Pack-A-Punch. It's got better stuff, but it's on the Vanguard engine, so it's terrible. Um, yeah. I'm gonna order these now. So we're gonna go to Ryzenjack Origins, Mob, Shadows, and then Spaceland. In great maps, we're gonna put. Oh, that's hard. Revelations. Maybe. Kino will move. Kino, you gotta give up your spot. Okay, there you go. Revelations buried. No, I, I put moon over buried. Yeah. Revelations moon buried. Ancient Evil. Ancient Evil is awesome. Then we put Zetsubo. Maybe. Zetsubo. Garad. Garad right there, and then we'll do Kino and then Town. Yeah. That works. Then nine, then Kino, then down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a harder one. The giant and Derisa Felix should be right together. They're basically the same map. Just one's got 
Ultimus one's got premise, one's got an Easter egg. Tiny Easter egg doesn't count, and an extra perk. Black Ops three. Alpha Omega. I. I'll put it at the top of good. It deserves a little more than than what it gets sometimes. I mean, Elemental Rig and Mark twos are just kind of fun sometimes. You know? Most of them. Um, yeah, I think I think this is how this would go. No, no, I put I put Shang over classified. But then we'd have Giant Darius. Shang. Mm. Maybe I'd put Shang in front of Giant Darius. This Easter egg is just so cool. Decent. I'd put. I'm gonna keep five at the top of decent because it's just, it's five, you know, it's fun. We'll do Tog. Final right can stay there. Then we'll do Rave. D machine and then knocked. Maybe move knocked down here, but but it deserves to be in the middle since it's the original. Okay, map. I'd put. Call the dead after ascension. I put it. I'd put nuke town. Let's stick with the Treyarch ones, you know. Um, and then we'll do attack the radioactive thing, and then carrier because advanced warfare zombies should have never been created. Uh, meh. I'll definitely put dead of the night at the top of meh. Almost reaching okay. But it's just a pain sometimes. Then I'd put first off, Gross and House going at the bottom. Uh, this might actually be fine. Yeah, this is fine here. No, I'd put Forsaken above above those guys. Garbage. We got a lot to sort out. In garbage. I'd maybe put blood at the top of garbage. Doesn't mean it's much better than. Doesn't mean it's close to meh. It's just it's the top of garbage. Then we'll do voyage. Then we'll put in the world at war ones. I'll do Shino Numa in front of Varok. I feel like Varok's just too small. Then we'll do, oh god, i got a lot of bad things here. Actually, hold on, I'm putting transit above Shinonuma. Just because it can be fun with four friends in chaos. Then we gotta do, do Outbreak. At least Outbreak has some things to do. I hate Die Rise, but it's better than Outbreak. This Outbreak, at least. Um, the first Outbreak. Uh... Next up, I'll do. No, I'll, I'll have these. These at least have some things in them and have Easter eggs. Well, so does Beast from Beyond, but Beast Beyond, no one wants to do that Easter egg. It's so bad, unless you're doing the super Easter egg. I'd keep that. I'd keep that. This is fine. Duran Fang told Terra Mikta's. Terra Maledicta is a disgrace. Okay, let, let me rank these at least. Um, I'll say Frozen Dawn, top of Haven't Played Enough. Easter Egg is cool, very cool. Then I'd say Awakening, um, maybe. Then I'd go Tortured Path. No, I'd do Shadowed Throne, and then Tortured Path. Then I'd say Mayday. I, don't, I barely even remember these, but I'll give them something at least. Next is I put the Darkest Shore in front of Exodus, and then the last. This is fine. Actually, point of contact at least with Nightfall, I'd say. Yeah, this is it. This is uh, this is it. A little pan down.
God Maps. We got Dresden Jack, Origins, Mob, Shadows, ZIS, Zombies in Spaceland. Great maps. We've got Revelations, Moon, Buried, Ancient Evil, Zetsubo, Garad, Nine, Kino, and Town. Good maps. Alpha Omega, Mauer, Shangri-La, The Giant, Darius, Classified. Decent. We got five. Togder Toten, The Final Reich, Raven the Redwoods, D Machine, Nocturne Toten. Okay, we got Ascension, Call of the Dead, Nuketown Zombies, Attack of the Radioactive Thing, and Carrier. I might. I'm moving. I'm I'm, I'm moving dead in the up. I'm giving it a little bit of credit. It's better than Carrier, at least. I might move character Carrier down to top of me. Out of all the advanced warfare maps, it's at least kind of fun, but. I don't know. Actually, then I'd put Carrier after Firebase C. Alright. Meh. We got Outbreak. Firebase C. Carrier. Forsaken. Farm. Shallow and Shuffle. Infection and Grossen House. In Garbage, we got Blood. Voyage. Transit. Shinonuma. Verrucked. Die Rise. Outbreak. Descent. Beast from Beyond, Boss Depot, why is it there? Why is Boss Depot? Duran Fine, Terra Maledicta, then haven't played enough, doesn't even matter. Frozen Dawn, Awakening, Shadow Throne, Torture Path, Mayday, Dark Shore, all of them are kind of the same, but for me, because I haven't played them enough, but yeah. That's, that's it. That is, that is it. See you tomorrow. Love you.